In short a new set of traditional owners elected to the Victorian First People's Assembly a new group of traditional owners elected to Victoria's First People's Assembly what's next? Parliament will begin historic negotiations this year for a statewide agreement with the Victorian government. Reuben Berg thinks Victoria is on the verge of a major shift in the power relations between indigenous communities and government. We want the First Peoples to be able to make decisions about things that directly affect them. So we delegate decision-making authority, he said. Also, since there is accountability for results, we want to make sure that when the government makes a commitment to how do things, we can hold them accountable. Reuben Berg says the First People's Assembly is a form of self-determination for Aboriginal people. The Gunditch Mara man is one of 32 traditional owners who will form the second incarnation of the Victorian First People's Assembly. They plan to make history in Australia as they begin negotiations for a statewide agreement. Treaty could address climate change. Justice. Shelter Mr. Berg was one of members of inaugural assembly that set rules for negotiating a comprehensive deal with state later this year. The process, which will be overseen by an independent arbitrator, will be a chance for the entire state to tackle the best ways to deal with old problems arising from colonization. This could include decisions around water rights, justice, housing implications, especially for our communities. In a broad sense, everything that underlies closing the gap. He said, there are numerous returning members of parliament, including Tracy Evans, Alistair Thorpe, Alice Pepper and Jacinta Chaplin. Some new faces will also join, including Narita Waite, CEO of Victoria Aboriginal Legal Service, and Rodney Carter, former Heritage Council chairman. Mr. Carter, a jaw-jaw worrying man, said his people were fortunate to be represented in Parliament. But not all Aboriginal groups had the same seat at the table. What I really want contribute is to give others who don't have representative organizations a chance. Rank this and join them. He said, Rodney Carter seeks to improve representation during his tenure in the First House of the People. He believes a government agreement will help Aboriginal people share their understanding of land and waters. I think this ancestral form of knowledge that many of our gangs have is contributing to real problems, climate change, renewable energy, restorative actions for the landscape, even agriculture everywhere, he said. A Victorian case in the middle of a national debate Victoria's attempt to confront impoverishment left by colonization for indigenous communities comes at a time as the nation engages in its own conscientious debate about indigenous voice to parliament referendum. Berg said Victorians need to reflect on fact that they have had a voice in parliament for past three years in form of first 